Okay. All right, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to evaluate your test scores. After, by now, you should have taken your first exam, and you're all done with everything that was uh, necessary to take your first exam. You did all the tasks, you set up, you did projects, one through seven, or whichever it was, and now you want to self-evaluate yourself. So this person has volunteered, and she is going to log herself in. Okay. Um, no judgment here. We're going to be looking at some test scores, and we are then going to show how to self-evaluate herself. Now, she was unable to download the Geometrics template folder in the beginning, so I uh, I bridged the gap later, but she will get a higher score next time. So we're going to go to tests. You're going to go to completed tests. Now, listen, it's going to tell me the exact date that you completed it, everything, and yourself as well. But when you click on this, it should say every test that you finished here on and so forth. We're going to click on the first test. It tells you exactly what she got. She just missed it. She almost had it, it says, okay? But here's the deal. We'll make this a bit bigger. As you're looking at this, give it a sec. Here it comes, all right? What I want you to do is click on Objective. Once you click on objective, it tells you exactly broken down what was missed. So it's, it's going to be green for perfect, yellow for a couple of things that were missed, red for everything that was missed. All right. So if we come down into here, let's go on to navigate within documents. Okay. So she got 100% on show and hide formatting symbols, but she missed where she has to link within the document. So creating links, basically. Move to specific location to objectives in the diary. That's creating links. Now, we'll go back to this in a sec, but look at the other ones. You can see a breakdown of everything that you've missed here. Inserting graphics, all of that. It tells you what you did right as 100% and exactly what you did wrong. All right? So let's go back to the links one really fast. Navigating in documents, and we have the links here. If you click on this, I love this. It gives you a breakdown, and you can write this right in your notebook directly. Okay? You're going to alphabetize it. I'm going to show you how to make the table of contents, but this is the information that you're going to write directly within your notebook. Okay? It's also got a glossary, which tells you inserting a hyperlink. It tells you what, uh, what it is. You know, there's either a bookmark, a heading. Whatever a, a hyperlink entails, it tells you um, where it is and how to find it. All right? So an internal link within a document, it appears on the top left, so on and so forth. The other one is web content. This takes you directly to office.com. And on office.com, it has creating a hyperlink. And this tells you how to insert a hyperlink into an email, um, create a hyperlink that goes to a direct file or a web location URL. All right. So again, that is just for the um, hyperlinks. You now have the ability to assess yourselves. So if you look in here, this tells you exactly what you've gotten right and what you've gotten wrong. Do not lie to yourself. If you really didn't know how to insert text and par text and paragraphs, if you really don't know how to do this, definitely revisit it and write this down. Write this information down on how to do this. All right. So again, that goes for every single one of the topics. So if you don't know how to um, where was it? Um, insert, insert illustrations and text boxes. Let's see that one. Inserting pictures. If you really know how to do it, great. But if you don't know how to do it, you can, you, you should click on it. So this way you have the exact information on what you need to do. And it even gives you the screenshot of everything. This is absolutely perfect for you to set up your notebook for, to set up a table of contents with all of the topics that you don't know. If you want to get a little bit more involved, go to the web content. It goes directly to office.com, which you no longer have to visit. And it even gives you video tutorials. It gives it a second or two, you know, if our server's slow, you know, but this will be a direct video made from Microsoft and you're able to click it and watch it. All right. Uh, it's loading it, but literally it tells you what to do. And it also gives you the shot, the screenshots of it on how to do this. All right. Very, very helpful and resourceful information. We're not going to wait all day for this thing to work. You know, um, go to web maybe and it'll give it to you. But 
we don't have to wait all day for the video because it gives us a beautiful linear list of directions on how to do it. All right. Every single one of your topics are broken down right here. If you really want to see it visually how you did on a pie chart, you can click on this. And this tells you for managing documents, you did about 60%. For managing, uh, manage, uh, well, let's go to insert format text paragraphs and sections. That's an important thing. This person got 69%. She's right on the cusp of victory of passing it with a 700. Okay. And that is pretty much it. This is all you're going to need to know for setting up your project. Um, for fixing your tests, okay? Uh, it's also got a study guide over here. You know, you can come in here and play with that for uh, searching for text, things like that. But you don't need to know this stuff. This is just uh, extra, all right? But that is exactly the way to do it. So you go to tests, completed tests, click on the test in question. After you're in here, go to objective, and then you're right back here to where you are to any particular item that you don't know. If you don't, if you know you know it, great. If you know you might not know it, click on it, which in this case, this is a zero out of 100. So you click on it and it gives you an exact list on how, in this case, to insert page sections and column breaks. And that's it. Okay. Good luck to you.